the dancing, like it takes so much out of me because it's. That's because you do it with passion. It is. You that, do it with passion. Like when I watch you dance, you do a lot you see of. It? It's very like swaying. Anyway, so today's topic is well, so we put something on our Instagram page, yes. and it said, "Men give it. We want your advice." Because I feel like. Women, yeah. we always have like the advice. Relationship advice, sorry. Yeah, we have relationship advice. So we always see like little memes like men want, women want this, and women want that. But we don't really see like what men, what men want. want. Yeah, so we're going to kind of read some of the comments. And elaborate on them. Or How we feel. Yeah, our take. Um, okay, so the first one says, give him the same energy he gives you because both of you and him got no time to waste because y'all both grown and that's from the homie george aka one influential um george. so yeah i mean definitely you do want to give the same energy but at the same time george what kind of energy is he giving? exactly time to waste. exactly okay so maybe he's not giving bad energy then yeah okay, okay so that's so yeah, a good one yeah that makes sense i can i can and i receive that like don't don't be like okay well he texts right now but i'm gonna make him wait yeah, that's don't do stuff like that because that is a waste of time. Yeah, and no and one wants to do and that. And if you guys are both grown, because he did specify. Yeah, if you're both that you grown, grown man, you a grown, grown woman. woman. Don't waste no time, cause I ain't got no time to waste. Just yeah. wait a Okay, you're wasting our time. With that oh, that's thing. That's disrespectful. <laughs> that oh, second thing. one. This is a really good one. This comes from Kevin Ross. Uh, be physical, mental, and emotional asset to a man's life. Some. Some come from well-rounded upbringings. Our expectations aren't as shallow as the masses. He's saying like, you know, men who were bought up well, they expect certain things out of their women, not just like the shallow things like, oh, she gotta be all fine. All men ain't the same. And she gotta, yeah. Yeah. And I agree probably that. they probably like maybe with both parents in the home or whoever was in that home set a great example of them to what great quality to, to look for in a woman, per se. So I agree with that because me and my husband have different upbringings. He grew up in a two-parent household. His dad is a very good dad. His mom is a very good mom. They just have like- A great relationship. A super great relationship and I love them so much. Anyway, so I agree with that. And I also think that you have to be physically and mentally strong within yourself because once you get in a relationship, if you're not all those things, yeah. that shit can like- And the next one says, stop depending on a man to tell you what you want to hear and pay attention to what it's like. <clears throat> make your own rules in the relationship with you letting society compare your relationship to the norm work together on maintaining the spark and help it grow and never settle with comfortability i think that kind of touches on um what we said so in the positive videos yeah we said it but that's a man telling you to that set your, your rules. rules yeah i think that's so I, I like that because for one thing is like he said don't let society yeah so i remember like Valentine's Day. I'm really not into Valentine's Day. Like I really just don't care. But on social media, you see everybody getting all this Blues, stuff, and there's roses, yeah, and all I, these crazy things. And before I'm like, I don't really like. That's not even my get down. But then I was on social media, and then my husband came home and I cussed him out because he didn't give me nothing. <laughs> but he never. That was like never our thing. But then because I was on so you social media, the same way about it. That's like high yeah. Cut. So you do have to not. I like that because you can't let society kind of dictate how your relationship right. should go. So that's, that's good, good to come one. from a man to say that like set your because they know again, I think a man know that. A man is going to do what you allow him to do. So the next one says, Lady stop using your beautiful body to use man. You may not know it, but you may have found a good I'm guessing that's a good First man. First of all, that just sound like he got got <laughs> Somebody, somebody put that thing on him and bounced on him. on a red chest. <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad. I mean, but some of you guys got spending it and he spent it. He so spent all that. It sound like, he sounded like he dipped it to his 401k. Yeah. Don't use your body. Okay. <laughs> don't use your body because that shit happened to me. And I don't like it. Be mad. JK, JK, JK. Um, if you not a NADA, y'all. If you not a hoe, stop taking advice from them unless you're trying to come into the fold. Sounds like a pimp to me. I was just, I swear when I read that. He might that, as well have put catch a date because that was. Catch a date? Yeah, that's they say stuff like that. How like, do you know oh, you ain't trying to catch a date? Because a pimp tried to get at me. And he like had a bunch of memes on his uh, thing like catch a date. somebody catching a date. And that's basically like. Like hoe a trick, yeah. Wow. This is my thing about my hoe advice. Hoe. I think that when you're in a relationship, Sometimes like you can like um, get comfortable. Yeah. So sometimes it's good to talk to one of your whole friends and get some whole advice. Not like whole advice outside relationship, but like whole advice like 
turning it up like girl do this and do that okay yeah you can take that but as far as like relationship based because he didn't be specific yeah he didn't he, he, he I'm, that's why i'm like certain situations get whole advice okay but it's a relationship it's a relationship on post okay <laughs> it's a relationship at the bottom it did go back and look at it i will whatever okay so the next one is be honest uh both parties should be honest so yeah uh mike dot reese dot 75 take no advice nigga. <laughs> Okay, next comment. Don't be afraid to submit. Be feminine and listen to your man. Do as you're told. He has problems. Probably yes, that's all the starting way. Starting probably with his mother. When men speak like this, Come like, on, bro. No, I'm just saying, like, there's a... You have a problem <coughs> with women in, with, like, respect. Like, somebody did something to you along the way that made you think that it's okay to say this. Be feminine and listen to your man. Do as you're told. Yeah, that's Well, I think, shit. yes, we, sh we can be submissive, but... You can tell you the tell aggression from this. Do as I'm told, though. You're not a nigga, so stop trying to be like a man. Be a woman of virtue. Keep your damn legs closed. Real niggas don't want no hoe. First so, of all, all of that sounds him. aggressive. Okay. Somebody that's watching this video is messing with him. Girl, you need to leave. You better run for it, run for it, run. That's show with them kids, huh? Okay. That's juvenile. Okay. <laughs> so, last comment. Uh, first, first thing... Uh, a woman was designed by God to be a man's better half. She is not to be a man's lesser half abused in any way. I really like that. She's a gift from God to to man to help him succeed. I think he meant to help a man succeed in all good and great things. Most men got it twisted. They think they can do whatever they whatever and treat women like shit not. Communicate with her. Show her she's number one. Always treat her and show her she's loved and cared about. Most guys show the best buddy better than a wife or girlfriend. Stupid. That's very true. That and it said, ladies, true. never go to bed with unsolved issues no matter what. I really... I, I, good advice. That was very good. Because I really get... Yeah, um, I can sit with some time when I'm mad at Frankie and like we leave so early in the morning. And I will get mad if he walks out of the house and he does not wake me up to say goodbye. I don't care if I'm pissed off. You need to wake me up and you need to say goodbye to me. Not, not goodbye. You need to tell me that you'll see me later. And you're going to say I love you. Look, I literally have a problem with that. We literally, literally just, on the way just had, I mean, Houston just had like this big blow up because he left the house and did not give me a kiss. And for him, it was like, it's not a big deal. I give you a kiss all the time. But it for me, it matters. You happen. never know. And like, I would hate to think that my husband left and like, God forbid he didn't get to come back home. And like, we didn't even get... A kiss. Yeah, a kiss. Take a bite and say, I so love those you. are like things that are really, really, really important. Because there's so many stories you hear, like things happen. Man, some of y'all women, you do show more love <laughs> to yeah. a man than your woman. She cooking for you, she cleaning for you, she holding it all down. And compliment your nigga, your homeboy coming with a new, some new shit. Like, we want that same energy. I That's want you to be like, weird. Like, you shouldn't be on no other man more than you on your woman. Period. Okay, so what's the last two you make those? Two? Oh, it comes from Jerry Got Us. Stop saying that you're independent. You were just like, oh, I don't, I don't know, man. <laughs> don't tell me nothing, honey. Cause yeah. I got it. I think that's really good because, and I think that goes for vice versa. Everybody plays and a certain is, yeah. role in the relationship. Not always a relationship. role, but like everybody brings something to the relationship. But so if you're doing everything, yeah. what what can I do to help bring value to you? But when you what just I mean? act like you can just do everything and I'm just not needed, it just it does kind of make me feel like, well, yeah. fuck, where do I fall in? Like, right. where, where's well, my... What am I bringing to you? Yeah, that's like if I tell him, like, oh, I don't really... I don't need you to do anything. You know, it kind of... Yeah. It makes it hard. Yeah. No, I can definitely say that because I was used to being, like, by myself, per mm -hmm. se. So, taking care of everything versus, like, bills and everything as such as that. When mm -hmm. I don't tell... Frankie, like certain things or certain things that we have to take care of, and he's like, "Stop being so strong! Like you're not the only one here. Like I'm here yeah. to help. I'm you. here to like, take something off of yeah, you. Yeah, but I'm so yeah. used to doing everything and yeah. getting it done my way that when he tries to step in, I'm like, I got this. Which also makes you stubborn, right? Yeah. But when it comes to like letting that person help you and like. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That I think it's a good thing. I think, and I think I've gotten better with that because obviously I was used to just being me and Lana and now yeah. it's us three. So now I'm like, okay, babe, well, we need to do this. We need to do X, Y, Z. Yeah. Or he'll just like, now he's just like, I'm, I don't care what you say. Like, I'm just doing it. And now I'm like, I'll fall back. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, a woman does want her man to leave. But you have to Make us even want to follow you. Want a man to leave, but we also have to we allow do them. Some women have to allow them because some because like, we no. don't. Yeah, we don't yeah. even. We don't even sometimes even give them a chance. 
to, to lead. lead. And then is to follow God and the woman mm -hmm. is to follow the man. Mm -hmm. And I believe that 100% because I know that my man is following God. I know he ain't doing that. He ain't out here like leading me right. in a wrong direction. Don't try to tell me like to sit down somewhere. Don't talk to me like that. what you say? Shut up. Okay. I'm gonna sit down. Okay, I'm doing too much. I'm doing my man said I'm doing too much, y'all. So I'm gonna just sit down. I'm gonna drink this wine. I'm gonna drink straight water. Oh, so now you better to me? Cause your man leading you to the water, and my man leading me. To <laughs> anyway, so we hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't and forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Share. See, man, we want to thank you for your great advice because yes. you guys gave really, really, really great advice. tips. Even like the stupid yeah. stuff. We still appreciate it because I yeah. think that it's good to give our opinion on stupid shit that y'all probably over here telling women about and never think about. And that makes oh, no sense. Can I add a quick note? No, um, because Frankie was telling me, is it real about like women going on dates and like having stories? Like, if it go wrong, I'ma call you. Oh yeah, and I'll be like, thanks for watching Cousin Chit Chat. We really appreciate it. Bye.